and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy bringing you guys my review of all three Kylie Jenner by Kim Kardashian fragrances collaborations. These fragrances came out earlier this year, and it's the first round of fragrances between Kylie and Kim under Kim's Fragrance House KKW Fragrance. Um, I really hope that they do more of these, so since they said it's the first round, I'm really, really hoping that we get a second round because these bottles are freaking amazing. Um, I feel like we've known about these for a while. They first kind of popped up visually on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which is kind of when, like, the buzz really started about them. I feel like in, like, my side of things, there's been, like, rumors and, like, fragrance... In the fragrance community, there's been rumors about these coming out for kind of a while, maybe even before they were on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And I feel like when we first heard that Kylie and Kim were going to do fragrance bottles, instantly I thought of lips instantly thought that it should be a lip, lip bottle, so of course this is, I mean, this is what they would have had to do when you think of Kim and Kylie, especially Kylie with her lips and her lip kits, they had to be lips. So, the bottles all look like this, so each one's a different shade. Um, we've got a red lip, a nude lip, and a pink lip, and the boxes, each one looks like this. So my only issue with these boxes, so, I mean, they really do remind me of like an iPhone box that's like... They literally just look like a freaking iPhone box. They put a lot of work into this because, like, there's, like, a little ridge here. Like, I don't even know if you can... Like, the lips feel special. But with, like, every other Kim Kardashian fragrance, like, they even got, like, the light on there. With every other one that we've gotten, like, when we got the Kamoji fragrances, they were very similar boxes. These just feel a lot cheaper. Like, it's just this with, like... I can get it out. It's just like a plastic sleeve on the inside, and I feel like, although the bottles are really, 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 like, wow, the boxes aren't. Like, I really wish it would have been something like this, where you pull it out, and it's got, like, the, the drawer on the inside, like, the lips could have sat in there. Like, I would have loved to pull this out and have the lips, like, right there, because they are very similar size on the bottle. So, like, why not? Like... That's the only thing I feel like is we got skimped on is the box. And generally, Kim does really, really good with her boxes. So, maybe it was just something this time. And, like, I know the, the Komoji hearts are like that with the plastic sleeve on the inside. And I'm not a big fan of that. But those boxes are supposed to be, like, a sweetheart box. So, I see that. I just wish these would have been a little bit nicer. So, I'm going to run through these straight out through the same way that they have them on the Kim Kardashian website. So, we're going to go red, pink, and nude. Um... One thing I want to talk about, because we all know how I am, and the elephant that's in the room in my obsession with Taylor Swift. So these fragrances were originally supposed to come out in, like, April, and then they got delayed. And I feel like, personally, just, we all know that Kim isn't over the Cole, Kim, and Taylor, Kanye drama. And I feel like, obviously, Taylor still puts puns to it with her snakes and all that other stuff. So, like, it's kind of a thing in both their lives now and for some reason when she first announced like when Taylor announced single me was coming out off of her album that we now know is called lover everybody was speculating that she was going to surprise drop an album and I feel like to take away from her momentum that's why they dropped these and when they said that they were going to come out the same day that me was supposed to drop um, and then once it kind of came out that it wasn't going to be a seg single, or it wasn't going to be a whole album, it was just a single, everybody was like, oh, okay, so we're just getting a single. So I feel like that's when, like, oh, we have a manufacturing error, we're going to pull them back. They pulled them back, and then subsequently they were dropping the same day as the album once we got the album date. So I feel like a little shade was thrown there. Who knows? I still bought them. I don't support Kim really, like, out. Like, I don't know much about her outside of her fragrances. I don't really watch her a whole lot. Um, but I do get the fragrances just because I collect. So, and it's a bottle. I have to. So, the notes for the red one. Let me pull them up on here. First one is an opulent white floral, blood orange zest, um, red lotus blossoms, exotic ylang, Soft warm facets of ambrette are soaked in silky textures of vanilla bean, red cedar, plush musk for a signature that behaves so you don't have to. Opening notes of blood orange, red lotus flower heart, red gardenia, exotic ylang, warm ambrette, vanilla bean, red musk, and, er, red cedar, and plush musk. Um, 
This one definitely is very Kim in my opinion. Definitely strong on the gardenia. Definitely very floral. You do get um, a little bit of that fruity opening with like the blood orange and stuff in the front. But it is definitely very floral, very... Um, the gardenia does take over this fragrance. It is a very opulent white floral. Um, and I definitely think this is what Kim would smell like. This is very similar to like the Crystal Gardenia and the body. And her other kind of like really uh, heavy gardenia. Like even her signature scent. This is very similar to that aspect. Very heavy on the gardenia. So if it's not gardenia isn't something you particularly like. You may not really like the red one. It does, they all do have really, really good lasting power, though, I will say that. Like, they last all three very similar to me on me about six hours. Um, this one is probably my second favorite of the two, of the three. Um, just because it is a really, really, really nice fragrance. Um, heavy on the gardenia, so if you're, like I said, if you're not a gardenia fan, you will not like this one. Um, next one is the Pink Lips, and I freaking am amazed at these, like, the color of these. Um, it really doesn't show up on camera very well how amazing this is. And, oh, they, I don't know if I showed you on the back. They do say Kylie Jenner by KKW Fragrance. And the bottles are super, super nice. So, like, they are very heavy. Um, but you only are getting one ounce fluid since it is the very bottom of the fragrance. Um, we are Pink Lips, um, Italian Bergamot, Mandarin, Solar Heart of Gardenia, uh, coconut water, exotic to hear flower, creamy coconut, pink musk, sandalwood, and liquid amber is what the notes of the pink one are. This one is definitely um, heavy on the coconut. It is coconut and kind of a musky coconut. Not the biggest fan of this one just because I'm not a biggest fan of coconut. Um, but this one definitely does have a really nice opening. It does have a very like fresh and... Um, citrusy opening because you've got the bergamot and the mandarin um it really that floral heart mixes well with the coconut that's in there so it does kind of make this creamy beachy um pretty fragrance it's hard to describe like i'm not the biggest fan of coconut but this is a very pretty fragrance for being coconut um it is very light and very summery and it doesn't really smell like sunscreen in like the tanning lotion way. It definitely smells more creamy and more um, opulent and white, if that makes sense. So, moving on to the Nude Lips. Nude Lips is definitely my favorite of the three. It is the vanilla one. So, um, Solar Spices, Lily of the Valley, Nude Magnolia, Jasmine Peony, Tahitian Vanilla, Vibrant Amber, and Musk. This is definitely... Um, a skin scent. I definitely feel like this smells like your skin but better, which to me is amazing because nude lips are your lips but better. Um, so I definitely feel like that aspect was captured really, really well in this fragrance. If that was something they were going for intentionally or not. Um, this one definitely has that vanilla vibe to it. If you're a vanilla lover, you'll love this one. Um, vanilla musk a little bit of like slight florals and kind of make it slightly a powdery vanilla but it is definitely a warm powdery light your skin but better warm vanilla fragrance um like i said they all last about the same about six hours um they are really really good fragrances i did get the most compliments while wearing the pink lips out of the three of them um but i do definitely feel like that's just because it is the prettiest of the three um definitely like i said with that kind of like creamy sun skin scent um they are still as the time of filming this video and uploading it available on kkw fragrance you can get the lip bundle for 110 dollars this video isn't at all sponsored i purchased these with my own money um so there you guys go there is my review of the kim kardashian and kylie jenner fragrance collaboration like i said i really do hope that they bring back more of them i hope they do a second round because i'm obsessed with these bottles they're freaking amazing um as always guys thanks so so much for watching follow me on twitter is s perfume and instagram among the stars perfume links are in the description below as always thank you so much for watching bye